everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am very excited to be sharing with you guys my latest makeup tutorial. This is a smoky eye using the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. The tutorial I put up before this was a very simple, natural look using this same palette as well. But I did do this smoky eye, I think it was last week, and I posted a picture of it on Instagram and I got a lot of comments that you guys wanted to see how to create this look. So that is of course what I did for you guys today. If you guys have been subscribed to my channel for some time you guys know that I love smoky eye looks so this one was right up my alley I knew it was something I wanted to do first thing when I saw this palette it's such a gorgeous palette like I said you can do so many looks with it I did a kind of berry look actually with it as well it's just oh my god you can do so many things with it so I knew smoky was definitely on the list of the next tutorial I want to do for you so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in my next video Bye guys. Alright guys, so as always, I'm going to go ahead first and prime my eyes using my Urban Decay Potion Primer in Original and blend that all over the lids using my finger. Today we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. First I'm going to go in with the shade all the way in the upper left and I'm going to be using my Sigma Concealer Brush, this is the F70, and I'm going to go ahead and apply this as my brow bone highlight, pressing it into the skin as you can see me doing here, and then what I do is I go ahead and I blend it down into the rest of the lid. I always do my brow bone highlight highlight first. Don't know why, I just like the end result when I do my brow bone highlight first. So then I'm going to go in with the shade all the way in the bottom left. I'm going to take my Sigma E40 brush and this is going to be the transition shade for our smoky eye. I'm starting in the outer corner and then blending it to the inner corner going in windshield wiper motion as well as in circular motions. I'm really making sure I get that inner corner because since this is a smoky eye I really want to make sure I get a lot of the transition shade in the inner corner as well as the outer corner. So just making sure that it is nice and blended. So now going in with the shade all the way in the upper right which is the smoky color for this look. I'm taking the same brush that I used um, for my brow bone highlight and as you can see the shadow is so pigmented. I absolutely love it. So I'm going to take this shadow and apply it all over the lid, really making sure you get in that inner corner like you see me doing here. And I'm stopping at the crease. I'm not going to go above the crease on my lid. As you'll see throughout the rest of the tutorial, we will blend it all out. But as of right now, I'm just taking this shade and just going right up to the crease of my eye. And as you can see, it looks really attractive. So now going in with my Sigma E25 blending brush, and I just put some of that same color right on the tip of my blending brush. And this this is where you're going to need your blending muscles. It's going to take you a little bit. Just go back and forth, back and forth. Go in with more of that brown color and you just want to go back and forth in windshield wiper motions and get this shadow blended in the transition shade. Like I said, it's going to take a while. It took me about probably two, three minutes per eye to do this, but you just want to make sure you go back and forth, adding more color, more color, and just make sure it's all nice and blended. As you can see, this eye is blended. This one is not. We're going to blend even more later on, but this is a really great base to continue with the rest of the eye look. So like I said, just going back and forth, blend it all out, and then taking my E40 brush with no additional product, just blend it even more. That's the whole thing when it comes to smoky eyes. You just want to keep blending. Now I'm going to look straight ahead and blend the shadow even more because I do have hooded eyes so I wanted to make sure I got the blending to my liking as in how high I wanted it. And then because of all of the blending that I did, I went back in with that same shade and that Sigma brush again and I'm just tapping it onto the lid just a little bit, not too intense because I didn't want to go back and blend. Just wanted to go ahead and just add a little bit more color so it was intense and defined and then just one more blend from inner corner to outer corner and I think we're good for blending right now. So now I'm just going to go in with my Sigma um, liner. This is in the shade Legend. This is a liquid liner. I really do love it. It is so pigmented and so easy to use. I I am not a liquid person, liquid liner person. I usually use my gel liner, but this is so easy to use. As you can see, it just glides, it just glides right onto my eyelid. I love it. So first I'm just going ahead and applying a line of this right to the lash line, and then I'm going to create a wing as you'll see me doing in a second. I didn't want to do a really intense wing. I didn't want it to be really, really long. I didn't want it to be a huge wing that, you know, you could cut somebody with. I just wanted a 
really simple wing. So that's all I'm doing here. Nothing intense, nothing too much. Just going from the wing and bringing it in and then just filling it in using this Sigma liner. Like I said, I've really been loving this. So this is definitely a recommendation from me. Now going in with my Galactic Mascara, I'm going to go ahead and apply a coat of that to the eyes to then prep them for false lashes because false lashes, as you guys know, I cannot live without. And for false lashes today, I'm going to go in with my Velour lashes and these are in the style the Carly Lash, which I love these lashes. I've always had them in my drawer. I don't know why I've never worn them, but today I thought, you know what? I haven't really worn these like ever and look how gorgeous they look. Like, Ashley, you have like two pair of these in your drawer. Why do you not wear them? So anyway, I'm going ahead and just applying these with my duo lash glue. Both lashes are on and now to the face. I'm going to go in with my YSL Touche Clot Blur Primer and I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over the face just to blur out everything. This is one of my favorite primers, so it is definitely a must. Today, I'm going to use my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation and my LC Glow Enhancer Drops. I'm mixing these two because I have been really loving this Milani foundation. It actually has been pretty much my go-to foundation lately, but I feel like on its own... I love it, but I feel like it's kind of thick. Like when I first put it on the very first time I wore it, I can I just felt it on my skin. So when I add the LC Glow Enhancer Drops, it kind of, um, it just dims down the consistency of this product. And I just love the way that my skin looked this day. So this is probably gonna be my go-to foundation combination for a while. So now going in and concealing the dark circles under my eyes, I'm using my MAC Conceal um, and Corrector Duo in Pure Orange, and I'm blending that out with my Sigma brush. And then as always, going in with my brows, I'm using my Brow Definer in Soft Brown, and then my Brow Powder in Soft Brown. It just went ahead and skipped ahead because you guys have seen me do this thousands and thousands and one more thousand time. Now going in for concealer, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear in NW20. I'm using my fingers first to apply it because I feel like a brush soaks up a lot of this product. So that's why I like to go in first with my finger. And then I'm just going to go ahead with this Morphe brush. This is the Morphe M428. And I'm just going to kind of pat it into my skin as well as make sure I cover up the orange in the inner corner. And then taking my brush, I'm just going to go ahead and make sure it's all blended into the skin. Taking my Urban Decay Naked Concealer, I'm going to highlight with that. Oh, and I actually want to tell you too, for my foundation brush, I actually used the Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush, which is the F15, which is really kind of random. I actually didn't have a foundation brush clean. This was kind of the only thing I had around, and it did, it did its job. Of course, you can use whatever brush that you want, but I just wanted to go ahead and let you guys know this is the brush I'm using for my foundation, as well as right here to blend out the highlight on my face face and now to set everything I'm going in I'm talking so much I need a drink I am going in with my Laura Mercier translucent powder I'm going to go ahead and apply this under the under eyes and to all the areas where I highlighted. This is my Sigma F35 brush that I'm using. And then to go ahead and powder the rest of the face, I'm using my tried and true Holy Grail powder. This is the NARS pressed powder in Beach. And I'm going to go ahead and press it into the face because it is summertime and you want your foundation to last, last, last all day. So when you press the powder into your skin, it will help with the longevity of your foundation. To contour, I'm using the Kat Von D shade Light palette and I'm going to go ahead and contour using my Sigma. I believe this is the F40, the contour brush. I'm going to go ahead and just contour the cheeks, forehead, chin, and sides of the nose as always. I really wanted to go ahead and contour because I was looking a little bit pale here so I wanted to go ahead and add a little bit of bronze and color to the face. So like I said, just contouring the whole face as always. This is definitely my favorite contour brush as of recent. And then I want to go ahead and just brighten up the under eyes a little bit more, taking my Sigma F35 brush again and taking the yellow shade in the palette. I'm just going to go ahead and brighten up the under eyes as well as the highlighted areas on my face. For blush, I'm going in with the Becca blush and this is in Damselfly. For my blush recently, I've been using the Sigma F05 contour brush. I know it's kind of random, but I do like the way that it looks on my face. So just going ahead and applying my blush with that. And then for highlight today, I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Glow Kit. This is the That Glow. First, I'm going in with the shade Bubbly, and I'm using my Sigma F03 highlighter brush. Loving this brush recently, literally obsessed. I'm going to go ahead and apply Bubbly right to the cheeks first, and I 
love this palette for highlight. And then on top of that, I'm going in with Sunburst. And I'm just going to go right on top of Bubbly. And it just gives you such a glow. This is definitely my favorite combination in this palette. And one of my favorite highlighting combinations ever. It just gives you such an intense glow. So now I'm going and putting that right down the center of the nose. As well as these Cupid's Bow. And the glow is on fleek. Back to the eyes. I'm going in with the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm first going to go in with that shade all the way in the bottom left that we use as our transition shade. I'm just going to go ahead and do pretty much the same thing that I did on the upper lid. I'm using my Sigma F E30, sorry, pencil brush. I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And then with my Sigma E65 brush, I'm going in with the brown shade that we use for the smoky eye. And I'm going to go ahead and line the lower lash line using this shade. I kind of did a thick line because for me, I feel like when you want to go smoky, you go really intense and smoky. So I did a pretty thick line of the brown. Um, I really love this color. Like I said, it's so pigmented. It's so blendable. I just knew I wanted to make sure that this was a really, really good smoky eye. So I went ahead and put a layer of that. And then going back with my pencil brush, I actually did dip into a little bit of that brown color to just help it blend out a little bit better and just going back and forth and blending it out and after that then the eyes are good with the shadows and I just love I swear smoky eyes are just my favorite to do I feel like people think they're really intimidating but at the end of the day once you get it down pat you'll love doing smoky eyes then going back with my e25 that I used before I'm just making sure that everything is nice and blended out on the lower lash line as well as the upper lid just going back and forth just making sure everything is nice and blended because like I said before that is the main thing when it comes to doing smoky eyes and as you can see going back with the e40 and again blending it out like always <laughs> so now after I'm done blending I think then that is it with blending like you're done I'm sure your muscles are killing you so now I couldn't find my gel liner I was gonna go in with my gel liner and put this in the waterline but since I couldn't find it, I went in with my Tarte Skinny Solder Eyes in Onyx. And then my camera actually stopped. It said it was kind of like overheating. So I went ahead and applied this into both eye water lines. As you can see here, bam, it's done. So now what I'm doing is I'm going back in with my Sigma E65 brush that I used before. And I'm just going to go into black. I'm using the Anastasia, Anastasia Noir shadow that I have in my Z palette. And I'm adding the black as close to the lower lash line as I can. But I'm just putting it in the outer corner. I just wanted to go ahead and make it a little bit smokier. And again, just love the way that it turned out. It just gives it a little bit of a pop and a little bit of more smoky. Did that make sense? Nope, didn't think so. Anyway, going on and putting mascara on the lower lashes. I'm using my Galactic Mascara again, and I can never get a good shot of me putting mascara on my lower lashes. Like, never. I can never do it. Going back in with Bubbly, I'm just going to use my finger and apply this to the inner corner highlight just to make sure that everything was nice and highlighted and... There you go. Now the eyes are officially done. So now to finish up the look with the lips, I'm going in with my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Liner. This is an iconic nude. Definitely one of my favorite lip liners ever. I feel like this stays on all day no matter what. It's just always my go-to nude liner. Definitely one of my favorites. So I'm going to go ahead and line my lips as always using this lip liner. And then once you have done that, I'm going to go in with the Stila Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Carmelo. It is such a beautiful nude. Oh my goodness. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Pure Hollywood by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So if you don't have this shade, um, you can definitely go ahead and use Pure Hollywood or any of the nude liquid lipsticks that Anastasia has. I just wanted to go ahead and change it up on you guys because I have used Pure, Pure Hollywood so many times in my tutorials. And then on top of that, this is optional. If you want to stay matte, you can, but I wanted to add a little bit of gloss. And I went in with the Anastasia Lip Gloss, and this is in Undressed. Definitely, again, one of my favorite nude lip glosses. And after that, your look is complete so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope this was an easy smoky look for you guys to achieve if you liked it please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you subscribe to my channel i love you all and i'll see you in my next video bye guys <laughs> no! if you guys have been if you guys have been subscribed this tutorial and i will see you in my next one steve <laughs>